can you uh, start by telling us uh, who you are and what sure. project you represent? Sure. I'm Davide Di Ruscio. I'm, uh, I'm from the University of L'Aquila and I'm the technical manager of the Cross Miner project. What do you see as the greatest challenges for the project's technology area? Um, just to, I mean, let's set up the, the context of the, of the project, which is, uh, let's say, simple in the definition, but complex in the solution. So the context is, uh, okay, uh, as a developer, developers that want to develop new system, new complex systems, by integrating existing open source software. So you know that uh, in order to do that, you have a number of challenges to deal with. So you have to, uh, first of all, try to understand what are the existing components that you have to, to use. Once you have collected these possible and al alternative components, you have to select one of them and uh, try to evaluate the, the best one that can fit your, your need. And then you, also, you have also to understand how to use these components. And uh, even when uh, you have started to use it, you'd like also to monitor the quality of this component because uh, if the quality of this component go down, then you might think to, to change this component that you use uh, alternative ones. So just to give an example, if you want to use, uh, for instance, uh, uh, a parser in Java for passing XML documents, you know that there are more 20 projects that you can use for that. So the problem is uh, which one, uh, how can you use that? And, uh, uh, and that's the main, I mean, the, the challenges that the project want to, to deal with. Mm -hmm. So how can your project address then those issues? Um, the, the, the first thing, I mean, first of all, we want to, to support the, the developers by providing uh, uh, real-time suggestions about uh, uh, the projects that they can, can use and also suggestions related to the, the how to use the components that they have selected. And in order to do that, uh, we will create a knowledge base that will consist of outcomes uh, generated, um, obtained by applying different uh, uh, mining techniques. So we're going to mine for each project, we'll mine uh, uh, the source code, we'll mine uh, the bug tracking issues related to the projects, the communication channels by uh, applying some natural language processing techniques in order to see, for instance, if the community is happy or not about uh, what is going on in the, that project. We also mine the configuration managements and we also try to understand for each project who, who, what are the other alternative projects that might be used instead of it. So once we have this knowledge base, this knowledge base will be used for feeding, for uh, uh, let's say uh, providing the, 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 the developers with recommendations directly in the ID. And so providing real-time recommendations in order to increase the quality and of the, of, the, of the overall systems because the idea is not to reinvent the wheel when there are already some uh, tools that can be used, right? So if you could fast forward three years, what would you expect the pro project to have accomplished? Uh, the, um, I would say that uh, the, the Cross Miner Consortium consists of uh, you know, 12 partners, so it's quite a big program, um, consortium. Only five are r and uh, partners. This means that we have uh, many uh, use case providers. And what we uh, will do in three years is uh, develop the, the, the use cases provided by these industrial partners. And there are very interesting applications and systems that we will uh, support uh, for implement, to, to implement. So we are talking about uh, IoT systems or uh, uh, software quality assurance systems. Uh, um, uh, there is also another company whose business is uh, to support the uh, duke evolution of the software that use APIs that, that, has, that are uh, APIs that are evolving. So what I expect is that in the three years, since the, the cross miner, the duration of cross miner is three years, I expect to, to have at least uh, supported, implemented all the use cases that we have. If you could create a follow-on project, what would it be? Um, as, as I said, uh, the, 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 the main, uh, one of the main roles is played by the, the knowledge base and also on the, the mining techniques that we have. And uh, so this means that uh, uh, big data analytics, machine learning, deep learning are all the research areas that in my opinion, we, we, we could have a look at these other research areas in order to, to improve the kind of recommendations that we can provide to the developers. What do you see as the primary role of the Eclipse Foundation? Project. Uh, you know, uh, Eclipse Foundation is uh, both, okay, play the roles of use case providers, so this means that CrossMiner will be used for analyzing the projects that are stored, I mean, that are mentioned by the Eclipse uh, infrastructure, but uh, what 
what, what, uh, what typically happens with European projects is that uh, after when they end, uh, all the activity related to the development of the software and the, the software that have been done somehow stopped because, you know, uh, uh, stopped the funding and also the, the, the activities stopped about the project. And w we would like to not have the same situation in cross minor. So Eclipse, in our, in, our, in, our, in our opinion, can play a key role in building a community ar around the project, around the software, and uh, uh, increase the possibility to have, uh, uh, I would say, um, a, a system which is uh, uh, more sustainable, even after the project ends. So the information that your project is gathering, uh, where, where is that represented? Where is that stored? In different forges, so we gather information from the different so, uh, forges, so GitHub, SourceForge, or on the different mailing list, uh, the Eclipse Forge, and we gather all this information and then we analyze them. Sure, okay. and then your results, though. So, uh, so you know, the, the idea was to provide real-time, uh, real-time information yes. to developers. Yes. That, that information yeah. used to be, you know, at their fingertips. Presumably, it's not mined uh, on an ongoing or on a ad hoc basis, right? It, you, you must represent that somehow. Yes, I mean, uh, we, um, th yeah, uh, the, the creation of the knowledge base play is, a, is a, plays a key role here. So this means that we will have a, uh, an installation of the system that uh, periodically uh, download all, all the data and uh, apply all the metrics uh, on, the, on the, the mining techniques that we'll develop. And uh, of course, this can be really hard to do in terms of time and performance, and uh, this is, will be periodically updated. But uh, it, and it will be stored uh, in our uh, installation of the system. Is, um, are, what what uh, what other Eclipse technologies uh, are you using? Are you using uh, uh, EMF, for example. Uh, not uh, okay. This is these are some decisions that we are uh, taking into account uh, that we are considering. Uh, what I, I can say is that uh, uh, Cross Miner is a follow-up on another project that ended, uh, what's called, what was called uh, Osmeter. And in Osmeter, what we did, we implemented a, a framework for um, a platform for analyzing uh, uh, source code, uh, open source projects. And we used the OSGI, so we rely on OSGI for implementing the, the, the so-called metric providers. And the metric provider, each metric provider was a kind of a plugins on top of OSGI. So, and we are evaluating if we can rely, if we can rely on this infrastructure, how we can improve some issues that we already know about this uh, uh, infrastructure, and uh, yeah. Thank you for telling us about your project and best thank of luck. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.